In this presentation, we will process payroll, payroll that now includes a health savings account, which is contributed by the employer so that we can compare and contrast the difference between this payroll and the prior payroll, which did not have a health savings account within QuickBooks. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. On the home page, we currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and the open windows list. We're going to say that another month have passed and we're going to process the payroll once again. We're going to go down here to the employee section and pay employees. We are in the paid version. This is the paid version that looks like this in terms of the payroll. If you're testing this out on the free version or manual version, it will look similar after we select the pay employees icon here. We'll select the pay employees icon. We're going to say that the date will be the end of August and we're going to pay it then in September, which will be 090118. So remember, we have that timing difference. We're paying each month here and, and uh, well, the pay period is going to be for each month. And then we're going to pay on the first day of the next month. And then we're going to check off our one employee once again and see what we have for Anthony this time. We've got the same pay for this month, so the growth pay will remain the same. The thing that we have included now is the HSA, which is contributed by the company. If we scroll back down here, we're going to say that the HSA then is going to be included on this side. There's the 150. That means it's going to be paid by the employer over and above, not included in the gross pay. Although it's not included in the gross pay, it is included in the tax calculations, and that's because we chose it to be taxable here. So just be aware of that. If it's going to be taxable, whether or not it's in the gross pay, the HSA would then be in the calculation. If it qualifies for the cafeteria plan or not taxable, then it wouldn't be included in some of the tax calculations. So in other words, we can see that although the gross pay didn't change here, we have the federal income tax went up. That's according to the table, but we can see that it, it went up because the gross pay we used to look up on the table had changed. And then the Social Security and Medicare, we can kind of look at those numbers and say, okay, what's going on with those now? And we know that if we look at our amounts here, we're going to have the pay, which is the 4025 plus the 37.5. This would be the gross pay. And if we go through these items on, on the right, we're going to say that it's going to go up by the 200, which is the gross pay for uh, the life insurance, which is going to be included for Social Security and Medicare. And then it's going to go up by the 150, which is included over here. And that's going to be taxable. And then what's not taxable is this uh, 25 on this side. So minus 25. That gives us this 4387.50, which we can then use to calculate the Social Security at the rate of 6.2, so times 0 0.062, and that'll give us the 272.02. Uh, so you can see it's getting a bit more complicated as we add some of these items to, to figure out in the Social Security, the Medicare taxes, uh, rather than just being able to take the gross pay here. And so that's going to be our items. This is the new item that we have. And this is going to be the gross pay minus all the exemptions. Here's our net check. We're going to go ahead and say save and close. We're going to process this check. The dates look okay. So we're going to say that looks okay and continue and create the paycheck. Look at the pay stub and preview the pay stub. And then we can see in the pay stub, we have the current information. That's going to be our gross pay. The gross pay hasn't changed here. Our new item is over on this side. So it's going to be the taxable company items. So there's the 150. It's taxable, meaning it's going to be, although not in the gross pay, it's going to be included in some of the tax calculations, as was the life insurance. When we go down to the 401k matching and the insurance, we noted that uh, those are going to be non-taxable items that were paid by the company. We'll then close this out. We're going to close this out. We're going to close this out. We're going to open up our checking account, go into the register by going to the banking drop down and use register. Then we'll go to our checking account and just take a look at that last check here. So here's the last check. Again, gross pay didn't change. The company 
uh, put that in. It didn't. It wasn't included in gross pay, but it was taxable, and so we had changes in the taxes, included FIT, Social Security, and Medicare, which is why these two checks differ in amount. So if you double click on this item, then you get the paycheck information here. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.